hello everyone welcome back with the another video on uh, push notification so first of all uh, sorry for not uploading any video as you know I was very busy but uh, now I'm going to upload video after each and every day okay so in today what we are going to do is to like yeah so i received a comment on my video and you can uh, uh, you can read this comment like uh, could you please create a video tutorial or provide suggestion on how to navigate to a specific screen when an app is in the background so we are covering this topic today and one more thing that if you have any confusion in any of my video just comment it uh, and i will make a video on uh, on your problem so let's just start it so for those who are new to the video they can check my previous video like like how we can implement push notification and what are push notifications and uh, uh, how we can receive notification in background and all other states so they can check my previous videos okay so here I have an application and uh, uh, so the firebase is integrated notification also integrated so let's uh, first uh, uh, send a push notification from the postman so when I send it you can see the notification is coming so the question according to the question when we click on this notification we have to navigate to a specific screen so let's just make a screen over here let's just make any test screen so testing and index.js so I will call it testing screen so let's save it and uh, let's uh, include this in screen in our in our stack navigator so let me copy this and uh, testing screen okay like this now save it okay so our screen is created successfully okay and now what we have to do like uh, okay so let's head over to the code section so there are two things that you need to uh, implement in your code when handling notification so let me explain our first scenario okay let's say uh, our application is open and I don't not uh, like killed it I just do this thing okay I just minimize it okay I don't kill the application so let's see if uh, if we are receiving the notification in this in this code or in this code so there are two code to handle it so let's see if I send it I receive it and I click on it and as you can see that this code will run app open by notification click and what code run this code run messaging on notification open app so this will work only when when your app is not killed it's just you just swipe away or you are using any other application okay it just work on that but what if what happen if I just killed it and then I send the notification okay so I receive the notification when I click on it my app open and as you can see that I receive this note this in other other code so what is this code this is this code notification caused app to open from quit state so th these are the two things that you have to remember first then we will go to the navigation part so 
here in my uh, this payload so this payload you can also find it in this video description so i will copy paste it in the description and you can copy it uh, from there okay so let's say screen let's add one variable over here screen and let's uh, name it with the same name of a screen that we created testing screen okay so you have to pass the screen name in the data so the co your code will know that uh, on which screen i have to navigate so okay so so to get the screen what you have to do remote message dot data dot data dot screen to get the name of the screen so let's save it okay give it a any so it is a typescript error so don't worry about it okay we can solve it like this okay so let's save it and uh, so now let's head over to the main point like how we can navigate so to navigate i have created two things first is this constant with the navigation reference and second is the constant navigate to and set navigate to so whenever i get the whenever i click on the notification and this code will run and i will set navigate to to my screen name okay this is the first step now the second step is that inside your navigation container you have to pass the reference navigation ref that we created above as you can see i also done one more thing like i'm showing this model over here let me show you like uh, okay the notification come if i click on it this model is showing so i also created it you can show any loader or some kind of uh, stuff over here okay any loader so what happen like uh, inside the loader uh, you can pass your navigation ref so what happen on this button i have this button so on this button click what i'm doing this uh, as you can see navigation ref uh, dot current dot navigate if it is not equal to null then navigation ref current dot navigate and navigate to so this navigate to is coming from the above that we the const we created and set navigate to as you remember we do this stuff okay if i click on okay button it will navigate to the screen that i want to navigate okay so this is it guys for today's video i hope you like it and if you like it then hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one